Pisces, what is happening? Let's get a love update for you guys and see what's happening with that. What is happening with my Pisces friends in love? What is the love situation right now? What is the love situation for Pisces right now? What is the love scenario situation? What is happening in their love life right now? Lead the way, be a leader, show others how it's done. You can help others. So I do feel for maybe your love situations, you're like this guiding light or this person that inspires people to take control of their life. Maybe you're someone that, you know, really shows up and tries to do their best and um, tries to do what's right. And this is like a guiding, maybe your discipline or the way that you show up in life helps set the example for other people. You know, you're a mature person and you try to live by your truth. So maybe um, you have some situations where maybe you're being solo and you're, doing different than you know what your person expects you to do maybe you guys are not in communication because you've refused to downgrade or come to their level you have are now requiring them you're staying up here and you're requiring them to level up you're no longer you know coming down here maybe you're doing your own thing right now let's see what is your current situation in love with pisces no need to fear remember how powerful you are yeah, Pisces, I feel here like in love, you are kind of just this person that are present. You're learning, you know, there's a new level of maturity within you that's evolving recently here. A new level of just like worthiness and understanding with inside yourself. And I think that that energy of you just being so unbothered and so um, accepting of the future and not being afraid to transition like people view you as someone very brave in the way you make life decisions and choices because you're constantly putting yourself out there maybe if you think you know you're an introvert but somehow you know you're like this very brave person that leads the way and I feel here that um you're not worried about it you're not worried about the love situation right now or if and if you are there is no need to fear you know like everything in its timing I want to be queen. I feel for some of you, you're very focused on yourself right now and you're focused on your endeavors as you should be. Okay, the way I did these cards right now, it kind of made me think that like, it's you're like in a transition. Half of you is there and half of you, you know, so it's like this duality, of course, but you are very focused on yourself. All right, what, who has their eye on Pisces? Who? Tell me who, who? Tell me who, one card for who? Shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. Who? All must have prizes. Use your time well, nonsense, and manage to be glad. Yeah, I feel that it's someone that certainly, um, they could be going through a tough time and, you know, maybe they... They're, this person is equally as, you know, um, someone that has the potential to shine and really, you know, be a leader here. But this person maybe um, is catering to other people's needs and all that good stuff and is stuck in the people pleasing in some way. I feel here that this is someone um, that is also stepping up in a way um or wanting to step up and i feel like wanting to change your life or transition or do something different manage to use your time uh use your time well and manage to be glad it's like this person is trying to learn these you know trying to get a hold of their life here i think i mean there's so much i could say from this but the bottom of the deck, I want to be queen. I feel like this person um, certainly puts you on a pedestal about how you handle things. You're kind of like this boss energy. And this person wants to kind of take on your attitude of like that confidence, you know, that you're just not worried about what comes up because you know that you can handle it type of thing. But this person wants to step up. All right. I didn't ask anything, so I'm not going to look at these. Let's see. How does this person view Pisces? Never jam today. Promises that never come true. Empty words. Not living in the now. Do not drink poison and nature communication. Uh, 
I think Pisces, I'm going to get one more because this person either views you as someone that is very telepathic, okay, and someone that is mature and wise and is able to take a step back, right, from what they intuitively know is not good for them and what they know sometimes may not always be the truth or may not always, you know, be followed up through, Okay, they know that you're someone that is willing to, to avoid, you, that has vision and can see um, and sense what a situation will bring and that maturity level of you having the discipline to say, no, I'm good on that, right? So there's, there's that there. How does this person view Pisces? What is this do not drink poison and never jam today? What is this? choices yeah and you are rare and free there are not many like you yeah exactly your choices the way you know you don't have to say much but the way that you show up the way that your actions your choices the way that you maneuver it says a lot about you okay all right what is this person Actually, I'm going to get with these. How do they feel towards you? I kind of love these cards. I want to be queen. I feel like this person wants to be like you. <laughs> this person um, stating your sovereignty, declaring freedom, passing a test. It's like you're certainly the energy to be like. Uncertainty and a moment of regret. So this is how this person feels towards you. A moment of regret and nostalgia, okay? Idolizing the past. Maybe they are regretting um, the choices that they didn't make with you and the fact that they were so uncertain and didn't act when they wanted to or should have. That's for some of you. Choices, uh, chooses who you will become. Maybe this person is regretting time wasted in the past. Or, cho or bad choices they've made out of fear. But they see you so different and you don't make those choices out of fear. You don't, you like the self-respect that you have for yourself, right? You're this free and rare type of person. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, how does this person feel towards Pisces? What is this a moment of regrets? What is this? What does this person feel towards Pisces? Forget who you are. We're all mad here. <laughs> and follow your own good advice. Okay. I do feel that, yeah, it's like this person was almost so set in their ways. And they wish they would have been more open with you. And just, you know, pretty much just been more open with you. Been more open to the situation, period to learning from you to, you know, and then follow your own good advice, trust yourself. They wish they would have trusted themselves and their intuitive. Um, so they have uncertainty, but I feel here that they know and they go through moments. They're, they are intuitively gravitated towards you. They, they intuitively gravitate. All right, how does this person view Pisces? How does this person view Pisces? Sixth chakra, so this person views you as someone that has vision, okay? I've said that before, nature communication, flower energies, fairy energies, elemental messenger. Like you, I feel, sense energies, elemental messenger. You can sense energies, you can sense things from the unknown, things that are not said. Um, and so you have this knowing. What is the sixth chakra? What is the sixth chakra? For some of you, also another thing that's coming from you, for some of you, maybe the person, and it depends how well you know this person and, and on what levels, but for some of you is they see, it's like, ugh, I'm not gonna get into that, but it's, ugh, okay, never mind. Six chakra, what is the six chakra? How does this person view Pisces? How does this person view Pisces? Oh, this fell here, let's see. 
third chakra so it's like this belly energy this willpower this force life force determination man holding a heart what is what is how do they view pisces Goddess of the moon and man holding a coin. So this person, I feel like when I'm seeing the moon and heart, I feel like this person views you as someone that um, is maybe sometimes you gravitate towards your masculine side, side if you at all resonate with that. But this person views you as someone that maybe you may have your money in order, but also a loving and open person. Just this goddess of the moon, someone that's connected has a sight, right? It's almost like you have this duality. It's like you have the vision and the feminine and the intuitiveness, but you also have the willpower, the determination, and also this way to get like the material things. You're just this like goddess, right? You kind of have this balanced package. How does this person, I didn't ask yet. How does this person feel towards Pisces? Door to value. All tied up. For some of you, okay, I, I got to go ahead and say this. For some of you, they do, what they like about you is that how they feel that you're balanced and you have money. So be careful because sometimes that adds to the allure of someone and you want someone to really value you for the right things. But also maybe they feel like they um, have a lot of responsibility, financial responsibilities, or maybe they're not in a place where they fully want to be to offer you that full value that they feel you deserve. I feel like this person, you know, has a lot of emotion for you, okay? I almost feel like this person could be like a, a, a water sign, doesn't necessarily have to be, but maybe a feminine zodiac sign. We're all, we all have fe feminine and masculine, but this could be someone that has like a feminine, you know, either like a, a Cancer, a Scorpio, um, type of energy, but they're indecisive of, sometimes they think logically, sometimes they think with their heart, they feel tied up. How do they feel towards Pisces? Specifically, what is this door to value? Four of Pisces, appreciation and broken heart in the reverse. And then we have the world. Maybe they feel like you're traveling, you're doing some traveling Pisces to rid yourself of some like heavy energy or something of the sort. Maybe they, you know, appreciate that. Um, again, they see you as you traveling and doing a lot and maybe they feel like they're not prepared or able to give you those things that you give yourself. I don't know, something of that. Okay, what's their energy towards Pisces? What's this person's energy towards Pisces? The sun and strategy and fourth chakra and victory and door to spirit. So I feel like this person is slowly trying to strategize and come to the light and figure out how to like open their heart and have victory with you because they sense that you are the door to spirit. Okay. They sense you are. They're here trying to kind of reckon with their emotions, with their things and the best thing that you could do Pisces is again not dwell on anyone or anything which I don't feel like you have been doing because it shows here that you've been focused on yourself okay um which I think is a good thing is a good thing because you know you can't be focused on other people all right Pisces what is your advice in dealing with this person and I'm gonna gather these again what is your advice in dealing with this person that you have in mind Pisces what is your advice? What is your advice? What is your advice in dealing with this person that you have in mind? Curiouser and curiouser. Discovery. Wow, I couldn't see that for a second. I'm like, my vision is amazing. Inquiry, weirdness, curiosity. Keep it weird. Keep it curious. Keep it fun. Stay up and shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. Okay, so Spirit is asking you, listen, don't make rash decisions and stuff like that. Just maintain a curious um, 
mindset, continue to take one step in front of the other, continue to, you know, figure out here, um, go on the next path. Who in the world are you? What else? What's your advice? What's Pisces advice? Nature, communication, and what is this? Promises that never come true. Falling. Becoming braver. I wonder what will happen next. Okay, so it's interesting because I'm seeing here two different ways. Okay, Pisces, the energy, your advice here, I, I'm getting two piles and I'm going to show you the two piles. The first pile is never jam today. Promises that never come true, empty words. We have here falling, right? And then we have here becoming braver. So I feel like this energy is like fear-based, but then there's another energy and this is the energy of being curiouser and curiouser that spirit wants us to take on is more of nature communication. It's listen to what you can't see. Maybe you see right now in the 3D reality and you're like, well, I don't know how me and this person are ever going to come together. Like this shit is a shit show, right? But there's so much more behind the scenes, so much energies. It's like, you know, it's not fully over. Nature communication here, fairy energy, believe in the or impossible things, working through disbelief, imaginative leaps, fresh perspective. And I wonder what will happen next. So you can keep this energy of just taking it day by day and figuring out what's happening next, okay? Don't go down the rabbit hole of your mind and it just bring you down into like the depths of whatever, okay? It's when it comes to relationship, when it comes to the energy that's happening right now is keep it light, just keep it going and you're gonna see that things are gonna evolve better than you expect them to, okay? You will make it through this. You are shining bright like a light. This is just needed to redirect certain things here. So I hope that was helpful. Talk to you guys soon.